I was serving at the Joint Force Headquarter level and um, got picked up on a mobilization with the 38th Combat Aviation Brigade and the mission assignment was to go to Balad, Iraq. In 2009, Andrew Schneiders found himself far from the security of his Indiana home, on active duty in Iraq, living in a combat zone. You're getting shot at and you're getting mortared. We got mortared all the time. Um, that becomes the norm. You get this complacency and this numbing sensation sometimes of what's going on around you. The mortars became less frequent as the mission evolved from one of combat to training Iraqi soldiers to oversee their own country. But surprisingly, Schneider's mental strain grew. You know, you, you're so used to just being run and gun and working all the time, and there's a huge self-worth, um, like you're really contributing to what's going on. And when that really slowed down, it was, it was a hard pill to swallow. Uh, about six months in, to my deployment, I would, um, I, I started noticing a change, especially in my aggression. Things got dark. And at first it was just like, you, you know, you just accept it and you know it's gonna kinda, you know it's coming, it's not a surprise. But when you can't shake it off and then every day gets worse and, and that violence comes out. Schneiders, once a music teacher at Avon High School, began putting pencil to paper, finding solace in the sketches he drew of his surroundings. You know, you're still seeing the, the scenery change and the colors and things, and then you start noticing that, and then you start, you know, uh, drawing what you're seeing and, and filling that, that void and that time with, with, you know, the creativity part of it and allowing that to come out. And, you know, making objects on paper and having that realization of uh, there's still beauty left in the world. When his tour ended, Schneiders returned to a once familiar world, but now everything normal, like socializing and driving and traffic, felt foreign and overwhelming. I wasn't responding well to family and friends and alienating myself when I shouldn't and finding myself in the corner of a room staring into nothing and, and not knowing how long I was there. And, and uh, my anger management was really a clear indicator. 20% of veterans from Iraq come home with post-traumatic stress disorder. You either want to be normal, so you fake your way out of it, or you just want to hide it and, and, and try to move on with life. But if you don't address it, it doesn't, I mean, maybe for some people it does. But for me, there came that time where I had to start addressing the issues and facing them so that I could get right, you know. Again, Schneiders turned to art as a source of healing. Through the Indianapolis VA Hospital, he signed up for a pilot art therapy project spearheaded by a VA doctor and the director of Heron School of Art and Design's art therapy program. One of our assignments, if you would, um, was to take these blank faces and we had to draw um, what we saw ourselves as before the deployment and then what we saw ourselves as after. So for me, I saw myself as this, uh, you know, it's, it's pretty dead on, <laughs> you know, just nice uh, bald, white, mid Midwestern male. That was me, you know. And, and I felt very strong about that going in. I didn't think this would ever change. And then as time went by and um, I found myself as this person. To me, it was the toilet bowl. I was just spiraling down. And I, I went into a dark hole that I never thought I was capable of doing, like ever. I, I couldn't believe I got there. I haven't seen these pieces for a while and seeing them again, it, I, I, I totally remember. I remember exactly I, those feelings, you know. And, and it's kind of rewarding because I, I, I know how I am now and I got out of that. Today, art therapy is used widely to help veterans deal with PTSD and traumatic brain injuries. For Andrew Schneiders, art became a means to express what he couldn't say out loud. I've gone to um, coffee shops and just known that I needed a break. 
you know, bad drive-in. Um, you know, something's got me off and, and I gotta fix it. So instead of going through the drive-through at the coffee shop maybe, I'm gonna go, go in, sit in the corner, get my pencil out. These days, Schneider's experiences fewer and fewer dark days. Creativity has come to his rescue. Maybe what I could say is no, I don't draw as much anymore because I'm having those moments less and less. I'm going full circle. I'm, I'm trying to come back to what I want to be and, and I have that ability. We all do. We all have the power within us, but you, know, you just, you have to go out and seek it and, and fix it. And it was surprising for me to, you know, to find art as the, one of the main you know, avenues that I use to, to get out of that funk. That's pretty cool. For other profiles and resources for veterans, visit wfyi.veteranscominghome.org.